Hello and welcome to the annual bashing of my YouTube channel. Festive greetings and today we have offer for you a very special special edition. It's unboxing the Pot Noel. Okay, okay, it's not a box, it's a bag. I've told my first lie. Um, I'm sure it'll be the only one. Um, so can it live up to the expectations of these two firm favourites? Now, I'm sure we're all aware of the beef and tomato pot noodle. They're in king size as well. And also the chicken and mushroom pot noodle. Certainly two of my firm favourites. So let's take a look. I'm so excited, I can barely contain myself. Okay, so here goes, uh, unbagging, uh, yeah, I'm not telling the truth now, unbagging the Pot Noel. There it is. So what a festive pot of merriment that is. And it's got a Santa's beard on the front, as you can see there. Santa's uh, lovely big belt buckle, so you go, ho, 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 I've had a Pot Noel. Um, and uh, well, not only are we gonna find out what it looks like, this little package of amazement here, um, but um, we're also going to find out what it tastes like. So um, legend has it that it's actually named after um, Noel Edmonds, uh, Pot Noel Edmonds, as he's now called. Oh, oh all right, then may maybe it isn't. Uh, but happy birthday, Noel, anyway. I do know it's your birthday today. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get that bad boy out of the packet and we're going to see what it's like. Just to add, also, we are in no way, shape or form sponsored by... Bargain booze. So I should add for your um, amusement that it is actually called Christmas dinner flavour. I probably failed to omit that one important uh, addition uh, to this otherwise professional presentation. So it's supposed to take like, taste like a Christmas lunch. As you can see there, limited edition. Um, all the... Uh, Amazing ingredients there, which are bound to be very, very good for you. And of course, all your calorific uh, details there. Um, nine to 10 on the uh, Richter scale or uh, um, obesity scale. And uh, Santa adorns so, the top. Peeling back the lid. What does it look like? Well, um, it looks kind of like the worst curry you've ever had. Um, but you can see some bits of um, Stuffing, I think, is in there. It certainly looks that way, um, mixed with the uh, the noodleage. So uh, what we need to do now is we need to get the uh, kettle on the boil and uh, find out exactly how uh, how this tastes. Let's go for it. So the kettle we're using today um, is a Smeg. There are other kettles available, um, especially cheaper ones. Uh, but I only bought this one not to show off uh, because my brother's called Greg, and when we were kids, I used to call him Smeg. So. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time I boil the water. So uh, let's so, go for it. We're waiting for that kettle to boil. Let's have a little bit of uh, entertainment. Let's have a bit of fun. Have I switched the kettle on? I'm having that much fun. I'm going stupid. <laughs> Yeah. 
we've brought our festive offering to the boil, it's very important that the water is poil, poured actually on the boil. This is really important if you want to get the right consistency. There we are, kettle goes back. Now it may well have uh, settled due to transportation. Really important to uh, get your fork in there. Don't stab it around too much. No sauce with this one, which is really surprising. So uh, even less uh, of a job to do. Now then, the most important bit on your pot noodle when you are making it is the plate over the top. And this, this is a pot noodle. Uh, this one is absolutely no exception to the rule. So we'll leave that so there for we've a minute. Uh, added the water. We've uh, let the pot noodle soften by adding a plate on top just for a couple of minutes. And as you can see there, Nice, um, nice little bit of uh, gravy. You've got to have some juice in there. You can't drain it all off, kids. Come on. So, uh, you know, that adds to the taste. So, does it live up to expectations? The pot knoll. This is it. It's the moment of truth. Let's okay. find out. Here it goes. Give it a bit of a stir. Let's see. <clears throat> bit stuffy, isn't it? Not unpleasant though. Yeah. You definitely get the stuff in your bit. Um, I prefer a more gravy taste. Um, I'm not gonna say there's a curry taste, that's, that's probably not right, but. What I would say is if my wife left me tomorrow um it would be a good base to start from in terms of uh, christmas dinner and of course you know when you get bored which invariably you do that's why you make videos like this then ultimately there are others to go at so the chicken and tomato that could be boxing day um and the uh, all important king beef and tomato pot noodle which um, that's definitely a New Year's Eve one, that one. Uh, however, Christmas Eve night has got to be this bad boy. I've not tried this one yet, so this could possibly end up uh, in the dustbin like all the other videos. But Donna Kebab flavour, come on! Well, that's the end of another video and uh, the review of the Pot Noel. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. I hope you found it entertaining. And most of all, I hope you found it extremely pot noodly noly. So uh, thanks very much. It just leaves me to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. And uh, as I say, give, uh, give these a go because, you know, there really is nothing else in life if you've not tried one. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.